Earlier this week, Bishop Dennis called into Portlaoise, where he shared his vision of what it means to belong to a Catholic school. So we join him now in our parish church as he explains that vision, as he tells us what he thinks a Catholic school should look like. Boys and girls, teachers, parents, lovely to join with you. Here I am in St. Peter and Paul's Church, splendid church here in Port Leisha, in the heart of Kildare and Lachlan Diocese. And lovely to join with you at the beginning of Catholic Schools Week. Some people will ask me, what exactly is Catholic Schools Week? Isn't every week a Catholic Schools Week? It is, but this week particularly, we emphasize a theme. And this year it is about being in harmony with God's creation. What does the word harmony mean, boys and girls? I know you sent me questions, which Father David is going to ask me in a few moments, but I'm going to ask you a question first. What does harmony mean? The girl at the back with her hand up. Okay, I'll answer. Harmony means being at peace with one another. The best way we can be at peace with one another is to love one another, to care for each other. And if we care for each other, we're caring for God's creation. Many of you have lovely green flags. I see them on my tour all around the diocese. In fact, some of you have one, two, three, four, maybe five green flags. Maybe the green flag we see is a kind of a, a state award, a secular award. But I'm going to say to you, it also is a sacred award. We get the flag for caring for God's creation. What do you do at the end of the school day? Your teacher says, maybe if you have chairs and with desks, you say, put the chairs up on the desk so the place can be tidy, the, 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 the classroom can be swept, can be hoovered, can be clean. You tidy your books in the library, you tidy your desk. That's caring for creation. Kind to creation, kind to one another. Catholic Schools Week also, of course, a big celebration is our grandparents. And during this week, you will invite in your grandparents to visit the school. And they're wonderful people. I'll be at a conference for a couple of days in Rome speaking about the role grandparents have in our universal society. And the message of Pope Francis for World Communications Day is about grandparents telling the story. No better storytellers than our grandparents. Make sure you give them a great welcome when they visit your school in the coming days. A third point I might simply mention as well is the importance of remembering why are our schools Catholic? We pray. We spend time at prayer every day. At our board of management, and they're just being formed now, and thank you to all who have volunteered for our boards all across our diocese. Really appreciate that. At every board meeting, living our ethos will be a point on the agenda. How does my school how does the schools listed all behind me, how do they live the ethos? How are they a Catholic school? People wonder, what is the life of a bishop like? I've had a very hectic day today, probably one of my most hectic ones in six and a half years in our diocese, because today has been a splendid day for Kildare and Lockton, and also a very emotional day. One of our priests, one of our very good priests, Father Paul Dempsey, parish priest of Newbridge and Vicar Foreign of Bikildare and Lachlan North Deanery, has been named by Pope Francis today as Bishop of a Connery. We give Paul our great love, our great affection, our great prayer on this special day for him and for his family. And I want the boys and girls of our diocese to assure him of, that they will pray for him in the weeks now before his ordination on Divine Mercy Sunday, his ordination as Bishop of a Connery on Divine Mercy Sunday in the afternoon at three o'clock. So keep him in your prayers across the diocese and especially as this has been announced by the Papal Nuncio a couple of hours ago in the Catholic Schools Week ceremony in a Connery diocese. Bishop Dennis also took some time out of his very busy schedule to answer some questions that many of the boys and girls had from our schools in Port Leash. So let's join him now as he answers those questions. Bishop Dennis, the boys and girls from Port Leash have some questions for you. I love you. questions, boys and girls. I love them, Father David. Go ahead. The first question is, what do you do as a bishop? How long have I? <laughs> How long is your recording device? Every day is different. I mentioned in an earlier video with you, how about today, a very special day with one of our priests, great friend to both of us being appointed Bishop of a Connery. So I was over in Balahadrine at the cathedral there for that announcement. They're going to have to Google that on the map. Are they, are They're going to have to find out where Balahadrine is and where a Connery is. But that's 
a part of my life today. This evening I have a Dawson Finance Committee meeting. Uh, tomorrow morning I have a meeting on education with, with teachers. Tomorrow afternoon I, I head to Rome for a conference on, I suppose, the, the place older people have in today's society, which is so important. On Friday last, I was in Balting Glass and with the week we went of our dice of the opening of a, of a lovely new school. On Saturday last, we had a, a gathering for the, those involved in Eucharistic Adoration or Diocese. So every day has something different. The life of a bishop is a very vibrant and different life. I love it. But I suppose maybe a highlight for me always is visiting young people in their schools, meeting them at confirmation, meeting them at different sacramental moments. And I think of my celebration of Mass yesterday in the Cathedral in Carlo at 11 o'clock. So many young people there, tremendous, as we celebrated the Word of God and the special Sunday dedicated to God's Word. Many boys and girls from our schools are preparing to make sacraments, whether that be sacrament of reconciliation, communion or confirmation. And they have some questions for you. The first being, what name you chose for confirmation? Firstly, I wish all the children every blessing. I know confirmation is on the 28th and 29th of February. Unfortunately, I won't be with you this year because I have confirmation elsewhere in the diocese, but I'll be praying for you very much. I wish the young people very well who are making their first confession, first penance soon. That will happen soon. Their special evenings and of course, first communion later in the year. So every blessing to all those sacramental moments. What name did I take? I took Brendan. I took Brendan. Brendan is not a family name. There's no nulty called Brendan before me, but there is now. I have a nephew called Brendan after me. So it's interesting. Brendan I took because Brendan, the great voyager, the great saint who travelled, who in some ways evangelised Europe. And that's the call we all have to be evangelisers, to be missionaries with a special key, missionaries out there reaching out, going to the margins, as Pope Francis will remind us. And Brendan did it in his day. And maybe at the age of 12, I had that little thought in the back of my mind, I one day might be an evangeliser. And here we are today. Wow, that's very, that's God speaking directly to you, Bishop, I think. Uh, another question that the boys and girls have, do you have a favourite parish in Kildare or not? That's a very difficult question. <laughs> and here am I in Port Leash, in this beautiful church dedicated to Peter Paul, where I love celebrating and officiating at ceremonies. And I think you're going to know my answer. Every parish is beautiful for different reasons. Every parish is special for different reasons. And every parish is gifted for different reasons. Some have splendid churches. Some have splendid, uh, uh, you know, communities that I will meet. Uh, this, our schools are wonderful. The priests, the parish teams working wonderful. So there's so many gifts that come. Every parish is different and unique as well and special. I don't have a favourite, but I do so much enjoy going around parishes. I love visiting here in Port Leash, as I love visiting many of our parishes. Excellent. And the last question the boys and girls had for you, what is your, or who is your favourite saint? You mentioned M Brendan. My favourite saint, strangely, is not Brendan. I wouldn't have thought very much about Brendan since confirmation days, is Pio, Saint Pio, Padre Pio. I think always of Padre Pio and the healing mitten, the healing that Pio offers. And he keeps saying to us, don't look at me, look at the altar, look at the Eucharist, look at Jesus in a special way. And Pio suffered an awful lot. You know, people didn't understand him in his day. He celebrated masses that were long. I'm not sure, David, how, they, how popular they would be with some people, but they were long celebrations, but people queued to go to confession to him. This was a saintly person. People knew it when he was living. This man was special. My favourite saint is Pio. At a personal level, I remember when my brother was very sick some years back and I blessed him with a special relic connected to Pio and he now is doing very well. So there's a personal reason as well, as we all have for a saint. I remember visiting San Giovanni, very, very special. I remember going in a on a pilgrimage in Italy on the footsteps of, 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 of Pio. There are many reasons why I love Padre Pio. Bishop Dennis, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for joining us via this special medium on this Catholic Schools Week. And thank you for coming to our beautiful parish church here in Portlaoise. Father David, lovely to be with you. Lovely to be with all the boys and girls, the children, the teachers and parents and all who connect with you through different social, social uh, media outlets and platforms. It's so special being here. Catholic Schools Week is such a rich week. Enjoy every bit of it and every blessing for all your sacraments. God bless you. We thank you once again for joining us as Bishop Dennis shared his vision of a Catholic school, as he shared about his day-to-day -day life 
as a bishop. We thank you for the questions that you sent in as we asked Bishop Dennis. Join us tomorrow as we learn more about our parish here in Portlaoise.